They showed up well over an hour early. Some brought chairs ready for a long wait in the rain. The folks came early to this packed meeting in the village of Batavia because we vote no. people were locked out of last week's meeting when the council chambers reached capacity. You were both locked out last time? Yes, yeah. we were, but we wanted to speak. And Lauren Webb and her daughter, Leela, came to speak to council about this nearly 800 home development beside the Claremont County Airport because they believe the development would overwhelm Batavia schools. I love like so it's so small and I like that feeling and knowing like almost everybody my grade and I like that like my principals know like almost everybody in the whole school. Lila wrote the speech herself. I've been learning about government. I learned that as a representative democracy, your role is to represent the people. Lila's <laughs> mom for the worried planned tax abatements for the new residents would add students to the school without adding any additional tax base. Making it not a safe environment for our kids. For hours, folks opposed the proposal. Councilman David Pryor originally agreed with the crowd. 800 homes is absolutely insane. Yeah. But he rebuked the idea council was ramming through plans without listening to people in the area. It's just a matter of just shoving it through, because that's how we feel. That is false. It is not true. After defending the plan as is at last week's meeting, developer Jeff Hayes says there is wiggle room from the developer's standpoint on the sheer number of homes to be built. We're not saying this is a you know, leader, take or leader type of thing. Council will have to make a decision on the proposal on third reading. Do you expect that they'll listen to voices like yours? Um, that's a hard question, but I think they might start just how many people I might they I think they might think about it. In Batavia, I'm Sean Delancey, WCPO 9 News.